Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ogre, special Pandora Borderlands edition. Yeah, speedrun for life. Old guys can't clear review speedrun for life. There <laughs> for we life, go. speedrun for life. I'm here with the wonderful Nick, yeah, master yeah. of all things, and Dylan, the, the guy with the, the mostest. The, the number Hello. one daily? <laughs> yeah. And uh, the one who introduced us is JD, the sorcerer sour cream. Sorcerer Sour Cream? Excellent. <laughs> so wait, what we got on the agenda for today? I think we're going to be doing something special. It's the first of the year, so I think let's uh, go over what we're most excited about. 2022 is going to be just an amazing year. It's going to blow all the other years ever in existence out of the water. It's going to be just so cool. So we're going to be uh, looking at our top, uh, what we're looking forward to, top predictions of what's going to be great. Do you want to do that as we get to the categories? Yeah, yeah. Each category we go through, we'll uh, we'll talk about our tops. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if your tops aren't the same as ours, well, maybe you need to rethink life. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, without further ado, let's start off with movies. Movies, yeah. yeah. I love some movies. All right. Uh, my top three movies in no particular order, because I, 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 you know, you ask for the top three... I, I don't think I can do it in order. Our yeah, I don't think I can, too. It's, it's all just, you know, what you're excited about, so how can you pick a favorite? It's like picking a favorite kid. Yeah. Actually, oh, that might be easier. Yeah, that's way easier. <laughs> 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 all right, uh, without further ado, my top three are The Batman with Robert Pattinson. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm digging what I'm seeing, and uh, I hope he's come a long way from Twilight. He, be he better not tell uh, Vicky Vane or whatever to... Uh, Hold on tight, Spider Monkey. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to see that. <laughs> and then Vicky Vale. Oh yeah. And uh, did I say what? What did I say? Vicky Valancourt or something? Vicky Vane, I think. Oh, is what you said. Vicky Vale. There we go. Yeah. Uh, the second movie of mine that I'm looking forward to is Sonic Two. Uh, I did enjoy Sonic One, especially after they redesigned uh, the first, uh, the way Sonic looked the first movie. Yeah, and and that is such a great thing that they decided to redesign that based on the fan input. Oh yeah, yeah. And you, you know, you know what? And it paid off for them. I'll I'll probably support those movies from now on because I feel like it should pay off that they're listening to fans. Um, so that that impressed me a lot. And then uh, the number three movie I have, and a Marvel movie had to make it in there. You you want to guess what it is? Um, well, that's a good question. I, I'm going to actually say Thor, Love, and Thunder. <laughs> you nailed it, man. <laughs> I mean, how can you... It, he, Thor, Love, and Thunder is on my list, too, because Taika Waititi did such a great job with Thor Ragnarok. I mean, how can Love and Thunder be bad at all? Yeah, and Just, I'm... Just uh, so I'm, amazing. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to how they, uh... Uh, where, where the, what they do with Thor from here? Because I thought I read earlier this year that Chris Hemsworth wanted to play or keep keep playing Thor. Am I not yes, there? yes, I believe he is going to continue playing Thor for quite a while. Uh, but I do believe there's big changes for Thor coming up uh, based on the comic books. Oh and yeah. Look, from what they're pulling out of the comic books, uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he kind of loses the mantle of Thor and it gets passed to um, Jane, Jane Foster. Foster and, you know, because that's such a great storyline, too. And so Thor will, you know, he'll become Odin's son or, you know, something slightly different. And, and I think that would be a good thing for the character. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely will. Uh, what were your other top two? Uh, my other top two, Doctor Strange, um, mm -hmm. you know, Multiverse of Madness. I just, uh, I love Doctor Strange so much and just where they're going with all this. Yeah, it was hard just, to uh, do. gets me excited. Yeah, hard to Yeah, that. I'm excited for that one, especially after WandaVision. Like, I didn't like, like, Doctor Strange, the movie was kind of in the middle for me. Mm -hmm. um, but after WandaVision and seeing, like, how that might tie in and, I don't know, I'm hoping to see how that yeah, goes. I Even though I haven't, for... seen, I haven't seen Spider-Man yet, so I don't really know what kind of stuff came out of there, but I don't, yeah, I'm pretty stoked for it. I don't think any of us have seen Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think with the Doctor Strange movie, though, it'd be the, you know, we've kind of got glimpses into Phase 4, but I think we'll really see what Phase 4 is uh, aiming for in Doctor Strange. Maybe even the main villain. Isn't isn't the main villain supposed to be Kane? Maybe. 
And, and that's entirely possible. Okay. Uh, they may have multiple ones, but I, I think, yeah, looking, I guess maybe not, maybe Kang is the main villain, but we'll get to see more of what they plan on doing with the multiverse or what's happening right. with the multiverse. Mm-hmm. So that'd be good stuff. And yeah. then um, I'm actually, my third one on my list is the Spider-Man movie. Uh, the part one for oh, um, uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 good. that's next year? Or yeah. that's this year? Yes. Yep, 2022. Oh, yeah, part one yeah. for Into the, the Spider-Verse is happening. Oh, God. You know what? I think we had to, were we here and we had to shoot it with the rogue site? Uh... uh I think we were oh, here. The quest line? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I don't remember. We'll figure it out. There we go. Yeah, so uh, what else we got for movies? I've got... Um, uh, I the think Eter- for Mike yeah, B, Dylan, what's, like a, what's yours? Yeah, yeah uh, John Wick 4. Like, that's... I, I really like the John Wick series, so I think that should be coming out in, like, March or something, right? Uh, um, I, I think so. they... I thought they postponed it to 2023. Oh no, yeah, that's right. They did postpone really? it. Really? We covered that last week. Oh, because I saw—I thought I saw a little teaser for it when I thought that was like coming out soon. You probably did. Yeah, uh, it was like all those secretaries and stuff doing a little teaser for that. I thought that. Yeah, I think in last video they they said that nothing was coming out. I think they postponed it for something else, but I don't oh. remember. Uh, yeah, sure. but John Wick stuff is is awesome. I I will always appreciate how subtly they made such a, a fantastic world. Yeah, yeah. And you know, just the just to the little details they put in to make you believe in all this other stuff that's going on in this oh, world. It's on the other side of the console. There we go. I got it. Um, yeah, I love the John Wick stuff. Yeah, and uh, it, I've been reading that Carrie Ann Moss and Keanu Reeves want to do an, uh, a John Wick film together. Yeah, yeah, and you know, Keanu's great. If, if she's like, hey, I want to hang out with you more, Keanu's been like, yeah, I got this movie series. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? It's surprisingly good. See, this uh, this is what happens when you have um, an ounce of creativity. You get John Wick instead of uh, Fast and Furious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the only other movie uh, information I have this week is that for the seventh time, Morbius has been delayed. Oh, yeah. Yes. I did hear about that. It's expected in April now. I don't know. I was not really stoked after seeing that trailer. It was kind of fell flat for me. Yeah, I don't like Jared Leto. Uh, yeah, I, me neither. I think he's a gifted person, but uh, he's not up my alley at all. <laughs> mm. Do we activate it? Uh, Dylan, it? did you have any other um, movies you were excited about? Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, you guys talked about most of the ones that I was excited about, except for John Wick, and then I am i don't really... I don't know if I'm up to date on anything else that might be coming out. Yeah, we didn't... Well, as far as uh, movies... Is there with, any new uh... Pixar's coming out? Oh, I'm sure there is. Uh, they did a they did a whole preview of a bunch of stuff coming out for Disney Pixar Day. Yeah. Um. But I think that uh, the newest one that came out was that Encanto. Encanto. Oh yeah, Encanto. In- Encanto. Yeah, yeah, I just watched. Oh, that. there we go. Oh, how was it? It was Give pretty us good. The it, uh, you know, it was just all about this family and this magic, and this girl didn't actually get any magic powers. And so she was, like, worried about it, and then, like, this magic house is starting to die, and she's trying to, like, fix it. So there wasn't really any, like, villain. Like, it's the whole plot is, like, this this house is dying. They're going to lose this magic that saved everybody, and she's got to figure out how to do that. Yeah, I heard the villain in that was mainly uh, family life, just... Yeah. Um, just expectations and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of cool. You know, if you could find a way to make everyday life kind of uh, uh, exciting to watch, then you've done what countless other people have done. Yeah. It's like Full House and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really appreciate it when movies uh, don't have a villain and and have eternal internal conflict in between yes, the characters. Right. Yeah, because yeah, that always leads to more character growth and, you know, the characters really um, can, you know, evolve how in the hell do I get out of this? 
This is kind of a mazy area here, up and down some steps. Uh, I'm coming. <laughs> so uh, we got the oh Eternals landing on Disney Plus. Oh yeah. Uh, when does that happen? Uh, on the twelfth. It is the six. And it's not. Uh, you don't have to pay for it, right? You don't have to pay that extra premium. Right, yeah, okay. no premium, just part of the, the regular subscription price. And yeah, so finally get to see Eternals. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it. About uh, Eternals just, or the fact that it's not no price or whatever? The Eternals, I've heard that it's not, it's it's like another Thor Love and Thunder, another miss. Um, like the, the MCU's second miss as far as I'm concerned or what I've heard. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to watch it to really get an opinion, but I think that might be from a lot of people because it didn't do so well in the theaters. Mm -hmm. But then again, nothing aimed at a more mature audience is doing well. And I think Eternals is not the same audience as Spider-Man. So. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, what am I doing? I am messing this whole thing up. All right. Let's see what else. We got a few other things. Uh, uh, on DVD and Blu-ray, Dune is hitting on the 11th. If you want a hard copy of the old Dune. Uh, the old one or the new one? The the new Dune. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the, the movie, the one that came out in 2021, is hitting DVD and Blu-ray on the 11th. And also hitting Blu-ray on the 11th is the third season of Cobra Kai. Oh, that's such a great show. Yeah, I, I know you're really into that. Yeah, uh, I'll talk about it more once we get to uh, <clears throat> once the TV shows. But man, we uh, we binge watch that show. It's and it, uh, you know what? I'll hold <laughs> I'll hold off. Uh, what oh, else you yeah. got for movies? Uh, that is all I have for movies, other than to say that it's just really slow right now. Man, yeah. is it slow? Yeah, it is. All right, let's just hardly in. anything out. Yeah. All right, let's hop into TV then. TV. Now, this was the hardest category for me to nail down my my top three. Because uh, yeah, there's so much is coming out. Coming out. Yeah, I'd have to say the same. Okay, now we gotta go this way. So uh, who wants to start it off? All right, I'll uh, I'll start it off. Uh, top three. Uh, the TV shows I'm looking forward to the most uh, since I rewatched How I Met Your Mother this year or last year. I am definitely looking forward to uh, How I Met Your Father. Um, I'm I'm still a little worried that they might mess it up, but yeah, I'm, I'm very hopeful, uh, especially since they said cameos could be a deal. So, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I I'm still on the I I'll watch it, but I really don't know if they can recreate the cast because yeah. the cast for How I Met Your Mother was just so good. Yes, it was. And yeah, you, I don't know if you can bring that charisma back. Well, yeah, yeah and. And I really did love that show, and the, the last two seasons were pretty rough, though. Oh, you didn't like, like them? I, I did not like the last couple seasons, no. Like, the whole wedding with Barney and Robin's wedding, it was rough, and it just didn't feel the same. Like, yeah. it didn't have the same energy, I like, guess, it did, you know, a couple seasons prior to that, so. Yeah, that's I don't have true. high hopes with something with a spinoff. Oh, you don't? Oh, damn. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I, I kind of dug it. I kind of dug the whole wedding thing. I, I, I wasn't on board with it at first, but the more like watching it a second time, I got kind of more out of it. And yeah. and I'm just older, so it kind of resonates with me a little bit more. How do we get yeah. in here? Um, second TV show I am looking forward to the most is Ozark, uh, and that ah. they actually just uh, That's soon. Yeah, they uh, popped the trailer for part our season four part one today. Yeah, I've heard so many good things about it. It is a brilliant show, and it's not like uh, Jason Bateman. I'm not used to seeing in a very uh, serious role, and he is right. very serious in this movie or uh, TV show. And it, yeah, I, I, a... I got nothing bad to say about it. Well, that's awesome. And then, yeah, uh, I'd, I'm gonna. That's one that's definitely on my list to check out at some point. I just haven't got around to it yet. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the third show on my list is The Boys. Um, I know that you said that you read something about not coming out in 2022. 
you're you're probably right. I probably what I read is it wasn't coming out in January. Yeah, those are the only headlines and stuff that I could find when I was searching the news. Um, I man, I'm so hopeful it's gonna come out. I I really really do hope it's gonna come out this year because they have been teasing us like for the better part of 2021 as well. So yeah. <laughs> The 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 freaking pictures they posted on Instagram with the all the season three trailers and it's just the actors in their trailers killed me, like they're toying with their fans and we love it <laughs> yeah. for some reason. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, the boys is a great show. Yeah, having rewatched Lord of the Rings recently, seeing Carl Urban in his multitude yeah. of roles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that guy can act. He plays in a lot of different roles. Yeah, he's he's your modern day Gary Oldman, you know. Yeah, he's in everything. Crazy stuff. Right. Well, it what? seems like he really enjoys the character of Billy Butcher a lot, even on like social media and stuff. He yeah, he really gets into it. Yeah, he really so. does. Oh crap! Uh, did you have another TV show? Was that two or three? That was three. I did uh, oh, Ozark, okay. How I Met Your Father, and uh, The Boys. Boys. Well, I, I'm looking forward to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. I love my Star Wars. And uh, I'm real... I, since I've read, like, the the 20 book series with him and Qui-Gon, and I've read, like, the the next 20 book series with him and Anakin, so I, I've got a lot of backstory with Obi-Wan. Um, and so I'm really excited to see this part that has kind of been left uh, alone for so many years. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. And uh, uh, is Qui Gon Jinn coming back for that? Um, oh, uh, Liam, Neeson? Liam Neeson. Yeah, maybe as like a Force ghost or something. I could see that happening. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, fucking Liam Neeson's yeah. Liam Neeson's coming back. He might. He might. I'm, I'm I mean, always down in, for in the it. timeline. He's dead, but um, it could be possible that he shows up as a Force ghost. Yeah, possible. I think I think that'd be pretty cool. I like all the the cameos and bringing people back and stuff. As long as it, as long as it's possible, you know, because um, I, I you know I remembered the Force Ghost. <laughs> I'm not just pulling stuff out of my butt. I know who Qui Gon Jinn yeah. is. Damn it! <laughs> Didn't he get struck down by Darth Maul? Yeah. There we go. See, I knew it. Um, yeah. So definitely looking forward to that. The next on my list is the uh, the Sandman. Oh yeah, uh, that's DC, the comic right? books are so good. Neil Gaiman is directly behind it, and yeah, it's DC, but it's Vertigo DC, not like DC superheroes. Okay. So is is there multiple Sandman's, or is there just one? Well, it, back in the oh god, early like '60s, there was '60s '70s, there was a Sandman superhero. And the Sandman series by Neil Gaiman actually makes fun of that and uses him in the horror series, which Sandman is really kind of a mythological horror uh, show. Right. Supernatural. Uh, so that's more of uh, the Neil Gaiman stuff. But it is such a good comic book series. I mean, I'd put it up there with, like, your Watchmen and all that well, stuff. Well, like, I listened to an Audible version, like, a couple of years ago. Yeah, did that they was just a great release, cast. Oh my did they gosh. release something s recently, though? Uh, there's a uh, book two in the Audible is out. Um, oh, so it is like a sequel book, not the same one. Yeah, it's a sequel. Um, oh, I didn't realize and that. It's okay. based on a 75-issue comic book series, which is just foundation comic book series. Just amazing stuff. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of those um, comic book series that if you're you know if you're into comics you definitely need to read, just because it's uh, revered so highly. I didn't know that they were uh, actually doing a show about that. Yeah, yeah, Neil Gaiman's been heavy in production with it, and he's. Uh... Are they taking some of the voice actors and making them? Into those oh, part of the cast. I don't, yeah, I don't uh, think the audiobook voice actors and the cast are the same. Uh, which is too bad because they have a great uh, yeah. cast for that audiobook. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah I definitely know here? Morpheus Sandman is not the same. So. Oh. 
Okay, I think I got this going. All right, um, and what was your third show? Uh, my third show is Willow. Oh, yeah, geez. Yeah, love the movie, just one of my all-time favorites. Mm-hmm. And uh, based on the little teaser that they did, it's just <laughs> I'm just so excited about it. Because it looks like old school, you know, 90s Willow meets The Office or something. So, yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm definitely excited about that. And what about you, Dylan? What are you looking forward to? Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, is Ahsoka coming out this year? Or is yes. that... Oh, well, yeah. maybe. I know she's on the slate, but I really don't know if it's this year or next year. Yeah. But yeah, Ahsoka's I'd be really stuck for that. so great. I know uh, they've said that um, Admiral Thrawn, which is uh, yeah. probably one of the, uh, you know, one of the characters that hasn't made it onto live action that I'm so right. excited about. Oh, and, absolutely. Oh, and did yeah. you catch uh, Book of Boba Fett the other day? Yeah, I watched that last night. That was pretty awesome. Watching him and, trip balls was cool. Yeah, and uh, the Wookiee, oh my god. He, he, yeah. it, he makes me so excited because that means that um, the whole Dr. Afra run is probably going to happen, and Dr. Afra and Triple Zero and BT1 are so amazing. Can't wait for them to hit the live action. Yeah. And Dr. <clears throat> Afra so- is that Fortnite skin I got, right? Oh, um, did was she in there? I want to say she was. Like, yeah. she's kind of like Star Wars female Han Solo. Oh, maybe does she wear a big helmet? Mm, no. Okay, maybe she, it wasn't her. She wears like a aviator's kind of helmet hat. It was Doctor Something though that I got. Uh, the skin of. I don't know. It was so long ago. Uh, there's a DC Doctor Fate with a big gold helmet. Oh no, this was definitely during the Star Wars event. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I'll have to look uh, it up. Yeah, so, anyway, excited about all that. Yeah. Um, you guys were talking about uh, the Book of Boba Fett. You got anything else to say about that? So we can segue. I really else. enjoyed the second episode. Did you? I, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It was very I think, uh, um, Boba dances with wolves kind of thing, but it yeah. was, <laughs> it was yeah, cool. Yeah, very, very tribal, very Arming of the Warrior. I think it was probably one of my favorite Arming of the Warrior scenes that I've ever experienced in a TV show or movie. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, anything else you guys got for your TV? I got a bunch of shit. I, um, um, I, I'm I just, just don't really... Mention I don't really the... know my news, so I don't keep up with everything, so I don't know. That's like, all good. All right, we'll... If there's a, another ep- uh, season of freaking... Uh, Oh my god, I'm totally blanking. Ted Lasso, that was really good. The second season of that, so hopefully there's another one this year. Yeah, it is on the slate for 2022. I do remember seeing it. Awesome. That. Yeah, I heard yeah, that I've... was a freaking amazing show. Everybody I know that's watched it has loved it. Yeah, I know. Like I, I, After hearing so many people just say good things about it, like I had to go in and I binged it all in like a weekend, and it was awesome. Nice. Okay, you guys, uh, you guys ready for some vegetables? Well, I, I do. Now, let me uh, tell you. Just uh, there's a few TV shows that didn't make it to my list, but I still want to mention them because I'm excited about the next year. All right. And, and that was uh, The Last of Us is getting a TV series. Oh, oh yeah, that'd be with, awesome. Uh, the guy that God, Pascal, is, yeah, Pedro Pascal. Pedro, yes. I was like C- Carl Urban, please. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah, and, wow. and so that's something cool. Lord of the Rings is getting its TV series this year. And mm-hmm. that's finally dropping after what eight years of pre-production. Yeah, it's it's slated for uh, September. Oh, nasty! Like I'm trying to keep my expectations low because I love Tolkien so much, and I don't know. You know, just the number one trilogy was good, and then The Hobbit yeah. was pretty meh. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really trying to like keep it low and try to just go into it with a open mind. Yeah, yeah. I actually kind of dug the Hobbit movies. I liked uh, I liked everything about them. I I know that it was uh, not a very good uh, representation of it, but. Uh oh! What am I doing? Where are you guys? I feel like we I'm not fast going... traveled to the oh. the main hub area. Oh, I didn't. I just I ran back. I oh, probably should have fast traveled. Fast traveled. 
you can get. Oh, I think I just got into a nest of legendary something or other. Yeah, there's, I, I see right below me, there's like four legendaries. Yeah, what the man, heck? We should come down there. I'm like, I thought Dylan, you were going what are you doing way. down there? I was just like trying to like walk towards where you, your markers were, and then I got lost. And Did we go too far? Right. Okay, there you go. I see you guys. So, yeah, they're in there. Go get them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw four legendaries spawn up, and I'm like, what did Dylan do? Yeah, you're a bad boy. Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Billy. Okay. Um, uh -oh. Did you have any other shows that you wanted to? Uh, She-Hulk. Oh. Yeah, She-Hulk's coming out this year. And I think they... Oh, no, we talked about the voice actress, uh, a different voice actress joining on. Which, hopefully, they do put her into What If. That would be that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, so I'm looking forward to She-Hulk, uh, definitely. And then uh, Stranger Things Season 4. Yep, that's coming out this oh, summer. Nice. Um, Gotta find out what happened to Hopper. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm yeah. probably going to keep... Uh, uh, I'll have to rewatch the whole thing because I mean they're worse than uh, keeping that series going than Rick and Morty is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how many years has it been? I, I think we were still living in Florida when that last season came out. Well, based on the trailer, they definitely look grown up now. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, you can't stop real time adolescence. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Um. Okay, so let's get into some news. Uh, you want me to give you the... Yeah, you said vegetables. Yeah, so yeah. What's, what's the bad news? Okay, I did not know this. I was late to the party on this. I actually heard this from my wife after it had been circulating for a couple days. Uh, Joe Gatto is leaving the Impractical Joker show. And oh. That, that makes me sad. I guess he got a... He got, they're getting a divorce, and they want to focus on co-parenting. So, mm. um, But the other Jokers say that they're going to keep the show going. Uh, but still, super, super sad, man. Uh, he was one of my favorite guys. It's just he had no shame during his punishments, and it made for a hilarious, uh, hilarious punishments. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are familiar with that show. I assume that you are, but if not, they have challenges, and if uh, whoever has the least amount of points has to do a punishment. Huh? And it's, yeah, uh, I'd... yeah, going through a divorce can often really hurt stuff one of my favorite authors his book series just took such a dive when he was going through a, a divorce and that was real sad to see yeah yeah um let's see uh, space force 2 we'll segue into that uh or not two space force season 2 is coming out in february uh february 18th uh not sure if you guys saw that it's uh with steve carell he's the general yeah. of the space force or whatever yeah i watched it i thought it was okay i wasn't really excited about it but it was decent yeah like the best part in the whole show was shown in the trailer i think where he was uh singing the beach boys <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> uh, let's see here tiger king news jeff Lowe is no longer able to exhibit his animals um and then oh. uh, and then the tiger king himself is being resentenced at the end of january uh, I want to say January 28th. So, uh, like I said, in season two, they wanted to, like, everybody that was trying to get him jailed wants to free him now. Oh. Hmm. So, yeah, there's that news. Then we got uh, early reviews on The Peacemaker. Okay, now, I I was... Oh, shit, did I... Uh, January 13th. Yeah, okay, so Peacemaker, they're saying that it is uh, all over the spectrum. It's not really consistent with its tones. Um, hmm. But now some of the other reviews I'm reading are saying that it's actually really, really good show. So uh, watch it. If you're into it, watch it. You know, every, every reviewer is just giving their own opinion. So now, Speaking yeah. of the Peacemaker, we've got uh, a ton of other superhero stuff hitting. But if you want to keep going with the news, we got Peacemaker on the 13th. Uh, yeah, since we're in superhero territory, you can uh, you can throw in some of that stuff. We've got, uh, the CW is busy. We've got Naomi hitting on the 11th. We've got Superman and Lois hitting uh, Season 2 on the 12th. Uh, Batwoman, uh, Season 3 Part 2 hitting on the 12th. And Legends of Tomorrow Season 7 Part 2 hitting on the 12th. That's a lot of, a lot of superhero shows coming out. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I've lost track of the CW. I just can't keep track of both 
DC no. and Marvel. But yeah, they keep churning out shows. Aren't we supposed to be here? I freaking lost you guys again. Um, it's saying there find it key fragment. Oh yeah, he's gone now. Okay, and then uh, let's see. Trailer for Ozark. Okay, yeah, I did talk about that. The trailer for Ozark being uh, released earlier today. Uh, and then the only other news that I have is Cobra Kai. And uh, so basically, it's it, it, it continues on. It brings Silver back uh, from the third movie. Uh, and man, is uh, man, I don't really want to give anything away because it was a very big surprise for me. Mm. Um, but holy crap, everybody is just the way you remember them. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't, eat, and I was thinking about if there's any other 80s movies that deserve, uh, a, like, a show reboot like this one. I don't know if they, you know, <laughs> have enough to work with material-wise, but they are sure pulling a lot out of, uh, you know, three movies of uh, Karate Kid uh, and really expanding on the story and stretching it out, so. Maximum Overdrive. Yes. Oh, the <laughs> one where they're, the, uh, isn't that the cars come to life? With, yeah, uh, yeah. With Kurt. Uh, Kurt Russell? Is that Kurt Russell? <laughs> I I don't know. Just uh, just the whole premise. <laughs> yeah. But um, oh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, every year it usually comes out around Christmas time, and then you know my whole family's into it. My son he skipped out on it, but uh, he he saw that we were having so much fun and wanted to be included. He watched seasons one through four in like a record amount of time. I think he can be one of my <laughs> binge records. So. My hat's off to him. And, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, great family show. Uh, talks about a lot of stuff that parents deal with nowadays, and and uh, it's awesome. It's just a great show. And, awesome. Uh, what's her face? Carrie Underwood makes an appearance. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, if you're into Carrie Underwood, uh, Underwood, Word, Wood, <laughs> there we go. Word. Watch the show. Word up. <laughs> yeah, that's all the TV news that I have. Uh, animation is... Yeah. Animation. You ready for animation? Oh, man, am I ready for animation. Right. I've been hip deep in animation. Yeah, you have. Deep. All right, you start your <laughs> list first this time. Uh, well, as far as uh, animation goes, um, you know, I didn't actually make a top three. I didn't think we were going to do animation. Oh, okay. Uh, but I can talk about the stuff that... Uh... So, Legend of Liddell, L- Liddell is so far my first new anime of the season that I, I'm really excited about. Mm-hmm. Oh, we gotta go to Sanctuary. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, we're just roaming around. It's all good. Zone us out whenever you want. Alright, I'm working on it. Why is yeah, it? but, you know, the the new anime season hit, so... Oh. Whoops. Sorry. Go no, ahead. Right. Do it again. Yeah, so there's just a, a ton of new anime out and about. Mm-hmm. All right, let me do my top three. Oh, excuse me. Okay, we'll do uh, Rick and Morty. Uh, I'm hoping that it comes back since they renewed it for 70 episodes before season five, so they got 60 more to give us. Yeah, I'm, they'll put that pile of money beside the other pile of money. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> and then we've got... Yeah. In, uh, Invincible, which I'm hoping the second season uh, uh, comes out this year, but I'm not sure that that's going to be happening. Yeah, that was a fantastic show. Yeah, I guess uh, yeah. Stephen Yoon, I believe his name is. Um, yeah, he uh, is saying that voice acting for season two should be starting. Um, you know, any like very very soon. So hopefully, uh-huh. hopefully they get that done. They get it. No, no hiccups or snags, and they just uh, get a season two out. Cause yeah, I really liked that show. That became meme central there for a while. Uh, everybody was recreating the Think Mark thing. So yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, why can't I give you the damn thing? Take it. Yeah. Yeah. My two big regrets is the the time that I could have met uh, um, Kirkman. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah and, you talk uh, about that a lot, dude. I know, I know. I was like, <laughs> he he wasn't known at the time. Actually, he was working on Invincibles, and this was when Invincibles was uh, just kind of a you know a comic or whatever. Yeah, it was just comic. It was nothing else, and uh, 
Yeah, and he was living across the street from my cousin in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. And my cousin was like, hey, there's a comic book writer across the street. Why don't you go uh, say hello? And I was like, I didn't know anything about Invincibles. And this was before The Walking Dead. So uh, so I was like, eh, whatever. And oh. yeah, never did do it. Oh, man. Okay, the last show that I got, or the last animation I got on my list is Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I believe that is supposed to come out this year. And I love my Dragon oh, Ball. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta love your Dragon Ball. I'm actually still impressed that they're, you know, continuing on with the, the franchise in new and unique ways. Yeah, yeah. And I, One Piece is kind of that way. I like all the different settings and places that they go and stuff, so... There's a couple, couple long-running animes that have figured out the secret to keep people, uh... You know, going. Yeah, I'm still too intimidated to start One Piece, though. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, man. Sometimes it just, episodes. Yeah, it just gets so slow. Sometimes it just gets boring, and I, I know I'm gonna probably get hate for that, but I mean, what what can I do? Yeah. There we go. You only have so much time in this world. You got to be choosy about what you do. Yeah, Dylan, let me. I know think when I you're added up menu. all the. Oh. I think shit, I added yeah, up ahead. all the time and. To watch One Piece, you would have to do 40 hours a week for three months. Oh my god. That's wow. a full-time job. Yeah. But only three months. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, the only other animation news I got, I'll just throw that in there, is uh, there's a new Beavis and Butthead movie coming to Paramount+. Plus, and that is from Mike Judge, Judge himself. A new oh, Beavis wow. and Butthead movie? Yes. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of excited for that. And then, uh, any, you got any other animation? Anything you're looking forward to, Billy? Uh, yeah. Well, I think. Uh, I mean, I, I assume there's probably a new Archer coming out this year. I don't think there was one last year, right? Or may, I don't know. I think there was like, one <laughs> earlier last year. Yeah, because I felt like they had been like planning one of those like every every year for a while there. Yeah, because lined uh, up so. Yeah, and that send off for Mallory was pretty decent. Yeah, it was it was a rough season still. Like I think they're kind of going downhill still, but like I I'm still on board and I, I laugh enough to keep watching it and yeah, I love our... H. John Benjamin. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. All yeah, that's good stuff there. That's why I watch uh, of Bob's Burgers. I love his voice. It's just a really yeah. really unique voice. All right, I'm going to go to Reliance. Yeah, we'll fa- fast travel there. And then I don't have anything for manga or comics this week. Well, I've got um, some more animation. So on the so it's it's middle of you know anime November or winter uh, release. Actually, second day of the thirty something shows. Yeah. And this next week, the top three most expected shows um, and I'll go ahead and save the the highest one for last okay. but we've got uh, How a Realistic Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom is number three in the most expected most highly ranked um, you know, new anime shows coming out mm-hmm. and number two is My Dress Up Darling and number one is the uh, second part to the final season for Attack on Titan. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah January tenth for that. Is that uh, subbed or dubbed? Uh, subbed. Th- this is the Japanese dates. Okay, okay. Yeah, so these are the day one dates. Oh man, it's gonna be yeah, a long based time. Based on last season, the dubs come out a little bit over a month later. Okay, now I gotta make a decision if I want to finish up Attack on Titan. Uh, reading the subtitles, or if I want to experience it dubbed, and I might do. They do a good job with the dub. Yeah, they do. But you know, I this this is 2022 is going to be the year where I watch all the anime as it comes out. Maybe not the entire season, but I'm going to hit all the first episodes, and then based on that, if there's any other shows. Yeah. You got anything else to add for animation? Any other? Um, I mean, you know, there's just tons of shows hitting this week, so I'll have quite a bit of uh, first impressions. You know, if you go to the the website, I think I put up four, yeah, four reviews yesterday. Yeah, you did. You were pretty busy so, yesterday. 
Yeah, so uh, we'll we'll get more of that um, this week. I think uh, this weekend is when it's going to really get busy because I think there's uh, Saturday and Sunday have like eight shows apiece. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's a that's a lot of shows to be watching. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> hopefully, yeah, hopefully so it's, it's going to get ones. busy. Yeah, it's definitely going to get busy uh, with all the anime coming up. And, and, you know, I think there are some good ones coming up, but I'll, I'll have more of that. And as always, just check out our channel for the reviews as they hit. Yeah. Yeah, you got uh, anything for video games? Yeah, I've got my top three expected video game list. Okay, and I think I think we're going to have some that are uh, uh, maybe overlapping. Yeah, yeah. How, how can we not after uh, being sucked into Borderlands so much? So we might as well just say Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Wonderlands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what a... what a Oh, my God. Yeah, if you haven't been paying attention to Wonderlands, uh, then you're going to be lost on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> we, we use that for a lot of our content. <laughs> That yeah, that's gonna be so much fun. Oh yeah, yeah. How could it yeah, not I, be? Uh, this with like a D and D theme. I mean, how could I not just want that so bad? <laughs> yeah, especially. Uh, I, you didn't play the uh, Bunkers and Badasses DLC for Borderlands Two, did you? No, I did not. Okay, so basically the whole the whole uh, gameplay that you're doing is on a big table. And uh, and you can see like Tina coming out of the clouds every once in a while because she was the, she's a DM. Oh, yeah. So it, it's pretty it's pretty badass. Oh yeah, the the big Dilly over here finally met Tiny Tina. Oh, did he Crunk Bunny? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Crunk Bunny's the shit. I made her a pizza. <laughs> did you do del deliver that pizza? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, we got. It's all good. Did you deliver it in a timely manner? Not as as timely as they wanted, <laughs> but it got there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so great. I love the, I love everything that Gearbox makes. I, you know, and uh, when we were talking about it, Gearbox actually made a game called uh, Battleborn, and it was like a Battleborn. Yeah, Battleborn. Battleborn. It, yes. Oh, okay. And it was like a, a first-person shooter type MOBA game, and holy crap, did I like it! But it came out at the same time that Overwatch did. And uh, yeah. <laughs> well, what do you have as your uh, number two most expected video game? The one okay. that you're looking forward to the most? Uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. And I know I'm kind of cheating here because technically it's already out for PC, but I believe it's getting console releases uh, um, this year. And the oh. reason I like it is because Jet Set Radio was one of my f uh, favorite games. Just the art style, uh, the soundtrack, the gameplay. Um, you know, it came out on a time where I was listening to music all the time and being rebellious. I was a rebellious teen back then, kind of. I mean, I wasn't the worst rebellious teen. I was actually pretty tame, but... Um, yeah, no, I, it, and this is supposed to be a sp spiritual... Eh, a spiritual... I can't talk. Spiritual successor, and uh, to uh, Jet Set Radio, and it's the, and the guy that does the soundtrack for Jet Set Radio is actually tied into this game now. So, uh, soundtrack should be amazing. And then, uh, what do you got for your number two? Um, my number two is Marvel's Midnight Suns. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that should be out in September. More and, XCOM uh, than XCOM. Yeah, and you've enjoyed some XCOM recently, so... Yeah, I'm, I made it my mission to beat that game while I was out of commission from the from the hospital Shit. stuff. Die, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Marvel's Midnight Suns. Uh, really looking forward to that. I uh, The only thing I can say that it doesn't hit me quite right about that one is I just wish they would uh, rely on some of their second tier characters a bit more mm -hmm. and not have, you know, Iron Man and Captain America in everything. Yeah. And uh, Wolverine. I'm going to throw Wolverine in there too. He doesn't need to be in Midnight Suns. Yeah, Sorry, he's Wolverine, in an awful but... lot of stuff. Oh, God. Yeah, so I'm just going to say that. But other than that, really looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. And then my third game is going to be uh, Dragon Ball Super The Breakers, or Dragon Ball The Breakers. And that's that survival horror. It's uh, 
like somebody oh. controls either Frieza, Cell, or Boo. And then okay. there's seven survivors that have to get hunted down. And if you escape, you win. Your team wins. If you all get captured or whatever, um, the enemy wins. And I, ju I just think it's so cool to be able to play as uh, you know Frieza Cell or because oh man, I love I love those types of games. I was uh, actually ranked 100 in the world for uh, Evolve when it came out. Oh, cool. Yeah, and Evolve was one of the first games like that I think I ever played. So. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. What's your What's your number three? Uh, my number three, and this was the hardest, is narrowing this between two was uh, God of War Ragnarok. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna yeah, be something it, special, dude. Yeah. Yeah. The The previous God of War was just amazing. Love the story in it, and uh, I think this one's gonna be another big hit. Oh yeah. And the and the, with the PS5 graphics, you know they're gonna make it for this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it it'd be it'd be really amazing stuff. Um, can't wait to see where the story goes. Oh, shit. I thought the story for the previous God of War was just uh, so fun to watch. And, yeah, and this one's supposed to be yeah, it's supposed to be the last one that takes place in Norse mythology too, right? Yeah, I believe so. It looks like from the story that I've heard so far, they're going to start branching out a bit. Okay. Uh, and some other mythologies. So we'll see where that goes. Yeah, I'd be interested. Yeah, but it was hard to pick uh, that one over uh, Starfall. Just uh, so oh. looking forward to Starfall. Yeah, and that's going to be uh, Microsoft only now. That's Bethesda's sci-fi. Yeah. yeah, Microsoft bought out Bethesda, so Starfall is going to be a PC, Xbox exclusive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, No and, uh, PlayStation for you. Yeah, back, back to God of War for a second. Uh, the mythology I hope that they take on next is Egyptian mythology, dude. That's the only thing I think I'd like more than uh, the Norse mythology. Well, well yeah. did you play the? Did you play God of War? Yeah, yeah, I played. Yeah, all so I mean, at the end, at the end, right of the last one, when you like are looking at like tears and stuff, and it kind of shows like the Greek symbol and then like the Norse symbol, and then I think it does show like an Egyptian symbol. Mm. Ah, like I forgot that. Like, like, like at the on like the walls where he like shows where he traveled because he traveled everywhere, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's kind of was like a hint at where they're going next. So that that makes sense. To yeah, me. that would be that would be incredible. That would be so up my alley. Um, what other video game news you got? Ah, uh, let's see. We've got two video games coming out this week. Man, it's such a slow time for video games. Yeah, it's. We've no got no. Super Sammy Roll. Sammy I have no idea what it is. <laughs> and uh, uh, Pug Battlegrounds is going free to play. And that is that is like it for this week. It is such a slow time for games. Uh, is it Pub uh, PUBG? Yeah, yeah, PUBG. Isn't, hasn't that always been free to play? Um, or is that for like console was. version or something? Because I know I've played that game PS4, a lot. PS4, Xbox, Stadia, PC. Oh, nice, dude. We might we might have to get that. I've had a lot of fun on that Battle Royale. And the best part, no build. Ah. Uh, I do like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, the only um, video game news that I have this week is gigantic news. Uh, oh? They've, uh, they're starting to release information on PSVR 2. And uh, yes. I know you're not a fan of VR, but I am a massive fan of VR. I absolutely love it. Uh, by the way, if she drops something called the Hellwalker, uh, equip it now, because uh, you're going to love that. That's a one-shot gun, kills everything. Oh, I got a grenade. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that, going back to the PSVR, uh, there's going to be 4K lenses in that some bitch. I'm going mm. to talk like Ellie. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, 4K you gotta lenses. have huge tracks of land for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not only is the, are those lenses gonna be 4K, but they are gonna have eye tracking on them. Ah, yes. Neat. So you're gonna be able to have eye tracking. Um, and then yeah, that's one of Sarah's research areas. Is, oh yeah, yeah. I remember her. Yeah, talking she's got a that. whole eye tracking lab that she does in research. Yeah. And then uh, with PSVR 1, you had to have a camera hooked up uh, like above your TV so it could read the lights on the PSVR. Uh, on this one, uh, the, all the cameras are going to be on the headset, and it's going to read the lights on your controller for, for tracking. So I thought that was kind of interesting, kind of cool. 
And then uh, the other thing uh, that comes out is, uh, or that's that it's coming with is uh, a rumble feature on the headset. So like, it, it, and it's not going to be as good as the controller, but. Um, let's say that you're in a scary game and you start feeling a pulse and you hear a pulse in your headset. Well, it starts vibrating your head like to a pulse. So it's interesting. Yeah. So it's man, it's gonna be super in depth. But I am I'm so excited. I predict we're gonna get like a bunch of stuff coming out at E3 or around E3 time this year. I keep forgetting nobody does E3 anymore. No. Um. So yeah, I predict that we're gonna see a bunch of it. And supposedly, the people that brought out this information saw it all being tested out on a horizon uh hmm. vr game so if you're a fan of uh, aloy if that's that's how you say her aloy name, yeah, yeah uh that, that should be right up your right up your alley i think that would be a fun game to try out in vr yeah i would be so into vr if uh, i didn't have like the inner ear issues that mm-hmm. bother me with all that Any any other game news that you may have? Uh no, no, it's it's pretty slow right now. Is the immediate future? Yeah, is uh, number one Dilly looking forward to any games this year? Um, was that Star Wars game coming out this year, or did they just show like that? It's all just like cinematics when they showed it at. The... Oh, the one that's by the same company that did uh, Become Human. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they said that it's that a very this year? no, it's in very early development. It might be this oh. year, but uh, they did not like the only information yeah. they said is very early development. Yeah. Yeah, but it looks sweet. Yeah. Even it though it's yeah. probably not going to be out this year. Yeah. What was that other game with see. all the portals and stuff that you go through? That one. Looked oh, like that's coming out this year, Nightingale. Yes. Yes, Nightingale. And looks Nightingale fun. looks really good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that might be. Uh, I don't know how much time I'm going to take off from uh, Wonderlands, but that might be one that could do it. Oh, yeah. Did you say Nightingale? Yeah. 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 You, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That one looked like a steampunk kind of Fallout kind of game, right? Uh, yeah. Know. And I think perfect for a group like us. I yes. Think we could really uh, get in there and fall in love with that. All right. Uh, and I have nothing for toys, nothing for board or card games this week. Yeah, um, it's a slow time of year. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of toys, but after Christmas, the wallet's always hurting. So we, uh, yeah. I, I just try to avoid it. I shut off all the all the <laughs> toys news that I get. <laughs> uh, the manufacturers do too. They don't have a whole lot coming out right now. Oh yeah, yeah. They probably rush to get it all out before Christmas. Yeah. All right. Well, should we wrap her? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another wonderful episode of Ogre. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, Old Guys Geekly Review, episode 13, I think. Oh, man, episode 13. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Shot old the Guys nuts. Getting Raunchy. Oh, well, that too. <laughs> that's, that's, too. The, that's the after hours show. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that's, that's only allowed <laughs> on that, our yeah. OnlyFans. Yeah, your Patreon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have a wonderful day, yes. as always. Uh, do or do not, there is no try <laughs> to have a good day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <Later>. <laughs>